In this video, I am going to be covering one very important aspect of US education that is the funding side of it. I will be talking about how much you need to have, how much you need to show and how you are going to show. But before I go forward, I am going to be recommending all of you who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel that is the Condura WWEC channel to go ahead and subscribe them. Quite often we conduct online live sessions where experts from various countries come up and take up all the doubts that you may have. We will be sending you the invites for that if you have actually subscribed to our notification. If not, please go ahead and press the bell icon so that you get the notification. We keep uploading videos on various topics too and yes, all this will help you empower yourself before you take the right decision. Let's go to the main topic at hand, funding. One of the points that you need to understand is when you go for your visa interview, this element of whether you have the ability to pay for that education while you are in the US becomes very important. Now, the way you need to be knowing how much you need to show is the number that comes in what is known as the I-20. Whichever college you have finally selecting, that I-20 forms a part of your visa application. In I-20, it's clearly mentioned how much would be the cost both of tuition and of living for the nine months that you will be there. Remember, your program is for a longer duration, but I-20 specifically mentions the requirement for nine months. And why so? Because one of the visa conditions is that you are able to show that you have funds for that period. Now, how exactly can you show those funds? Sometimes I get students who come to me and say, sir, I don't have liquid funds. I don't have it in the bank, but can I take it from my relatives and put it in the bank and show that as a proof? There are a few others who actually go and take money from lenders, temporarily park it in the bank, and they want to show this document during the visa time. Are all these good news? Answer is no. In fact, they are very dangerous news. Do appreciate the fact that one of the very important things of US is they have the ability to get back to the bank, inquire about the source of the fund. They can ask you for additional documents and basis what the documents speak. They can get to know whether these funds are yours or they can assume the fact that they are not yours. Sometimes students mention in the visa thing that I had a land, my father sold it and that is how the funds came in. Believe me, these are not considered to be positive. So what exactly are the things that you need to do? My suggestion is very simple. Be truthful. Let us say number one that your requirement in Indian terms is about 25 lakhs for that nine months. Now your responsibility show the fact that you have the funds for 25 lakhs. But no, no one is asking you to have the funds ready in terms of cash in the bank. You don't need that. The point that you need to understand is these 25 lakhs have to be liquid funds. What is the meaning of the word liquid? It basically means that you can convert this into cash whenever you want to and then use it for your education. So it can be in form of your saving account in the bank. It could be in the form of fixed deposits that your parents might have. It could also be in terms of other liquidable assets like provident fund that your parents might have. So understand the fact that in spite of the fact that provident fund is something that's logged in for a longer duration, Government of India and the various rules of Provident Fund allow you to liquidate that under certain circumstances and higher education for children is one such. But what if even if you include all this, it's not sufficient. Remember, we just need your ability to show the fact that you can afford education. There is one more element that you can fight for, the bank loans. Now, as an Indian, you have the right to raise funds without security to a certain extent. For international education, it's about 7 to 7.5 lakhs. Furthermore, if you do need it, of course, your parents or you would have to give some collateral that is security against. But fact of the matter is today, education loan is a strong possibility. So go ahead and apply for that. I normally suggest to my students that you should also apply for go, you know, the education loan because it gives a comfort to the visa officer that you have very good background in India because everyone knows getting a loan is not very easy and quite a few loans require collateral. So by going ahead and getting an education loan, you're also emphasizing the fact that you have physical assets 
in form of buildings in terms of land probably in India and that's a comfort for the VOs. But I'm going to be addressing one more important point that you need to understand. Though I-20 says that, you know, the funds are required for nine months, quite often one of the very favorite questions that is asked by the VO or the visa officer is, how are you going to finance your second year of education? Now, obviously, maybe you have planned to work part-time, make the money, or probably you're planning to go there and fight for assistantship. But these are not things that you can mention in to the VO. So what's the best case scenario? Best case scenario is to show the fact that you have funds for the complete period of education. If you can show it, go ahead and do so. In this video, of course, I'm not addressing how to reduce the liability. That is how to reduce the quantum that is required. Do make it a point to watch other videos of mine which are there in the Condura WWEC YouTube channel where I have talked about multiple ways of reducing that includes choosing public schools over private schools, choosing schools where the cost of living is lesser rather than places like Washington, New York or California where they are expensive and of course fighting for other things like scholarships and assistantships. You have multiple ways of reducing this liability too. Education is an investment but Education loan still is a liability. So go ahead, watch those videos, benefit from it. And of course, if you have any queries, go ahead and write these queries in the comment section of this video. What I normally do whenever I do take live sessions and yes, I will be sending you the notifications. I'll be taking these doubts and then addressing them. At the end of the day, the point I keep saying is take benefit of over 15 years of experience that we have had sending thousands of students abroad to top destinations, US, Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, you name it, we have done it. Your business, take that benefit and then do what is right for you. Thank you so much.